That's right. Hello, everyone. It is time for sports where current Carroll College head football coach Mike Van Dees knew the history of the program when he took over the reins back in 1999. He was particularly familiar with the coaching tree at Carroll College, Eaton, Hunthausen, Petrino and others. All the wins over the years, more than 100 of them, as a matter of fact. But there was one name in particular that really stood out to Van Deest, the 14th coach in program history, John Gallardi, college football's all-time winningest, who passed away over the weekend. He's an old-time old time coach, but he had a different way of doing things. So very unique, very successful, and just a wonderful gentleman. Gallardi passed away over the weekend at the age of 91, leaving behind a legacy that may never be matched. After going 25-5-1 at Carroll, his first coaching stop, that was back in 1949-1952, before he would spend the next 59 years at St. John's University in Collegeville, Minnesota. The career record, 489 wins, 138 losses, and 11 ties, and on the way, surpassing Grambling's Eddie Robinson as college football's all-time winning as coach. It was him and Eddie Robinson and Paterno and Bowden, you know, guys with longevity and Bear Bryant, you know, and certainly at Division Three, he didn't get the accolades or the front page stuff until it was all said and done. But I don't care what you coach at, 489 wins is 489 wins. Van Deest, who's Carroll's all-time winning as coach, 201 wins, had numerous encounters with Gallardi over the years, conventions, conferences, award banquets, and one specific weekend in Helena that Van Deest says is among his fondest memories. That was a special day, you know. Joe and I were great friends, and we knew all about Coach Gallardi. We'd met him both a couple times and spent time with him. And that was probably the one time I got to spend a lot of time just sitting down with him and Joe and the three of us over lunch and getting our picture taken was pretty special. You know, those are just people that uh, they're legends. Winners of a combined 10 national championships, four for Gallardi, six for Van Deest. The Hall of Fame coaches actually had talks about scheduling a game between the Johnnies and the Saints, although the Carroll head coach laughs at Gillardi's initial reaction. Mike, we don't give scholarships. You give scholarships, would be fair. I go, coach, you got more money, you got 180 kids on your team. Van Deest also recalled a recent recruiting trip back east where he was able to spend some time with the 1973 Carroll College Hall of Fame inductee and 2006 College Football National Hall of Fame inductee. They discussed anything and everything, with the exception of football, if you can believe it. Van Deest's greatest conversations with Gallardi consisted of little football, if any at all. I had a lot of them, but one of his favorite lines that they asked him at the, at the convention one year, they said, you've been doing this for, you know, I don't know if this is 59 or 60 years. You know, what, what's about age and how come you did it this long? He says, well, all I feel I could do as long until I start forgetting things. They said, well, what's the sign of that? What kind of gives you indication? He said, well, number one, he says, you know, if I go to the bathroom and I, uh, come out and I forget to zip up. He says, you know, that's something everybody worries about. And I said, what's number two? He said, well, he said, number two is when you go to the bathroom and you forget to zip down. <laughs> they said, what's the third thing? He says, I don't even think I can remember that. <laughs> he was just so mundane yeah, yeah. with his presentation and his line, you know, he just, he, and he just had that little giggle and it just cracked you up. A similar giggle would come from Van Deest, recalling those dozens of moments the coaching legend shared. He points first to the photo in the corner of his office, that one of his younger self, Joe Glenn and Gallardi, then motions toward the frame right next to his desk, inside at a magazine cover reading, 100 years of Carroll College football, another prized possession. Oh, it's, it's awesome. You know, they did a poster, and on it was Coach Gallardi, Raymond Hunhausen. Uh, you know, Coach Petrino, myself, I've got that up. There'll be a lot of things I, I don't know that I'll be keepsakes for me, but that'll be one that I'll keep forever. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.